and good morning to you folks. We're checking out, checked out, and we're about to leave uh, the nice Niseko guest house, Nalu. I'm gonna head to Iwanai Resort. That's about 41 kilometers from here. So we're already uphill. So I don't want to take Route 5 because you have to go back down and go back up. So I might as well just go straight there from Route 66. Just follow it all the way to that city, our town. All set up. All right, guys. I'll see you on the road. Hills, hills, hills. But oh, man, my legs are like, how many whew, hills do you have to go through? Breathe, breathe. I don't know how long this hill is, but be prepared for a lot of climbing, especially if you don't know the roads. So climbing, climbing, still. Route 66, I practically have it all to myself. Barely any cars out here. That's a good thing. Yeah. This is how high we climbed. Woo! It's like, when is this gonna end? Okay, so we're taking a rest in this nice spot here. See, this hill just never end. Route 66 hill. I don't know how far it gets gonna, it's just gonna keep on going, so. Uh, well, look at that. So this is how much of we, we've climbed. We came from that way so far. Mount Yote is right over there. So we came around up this mountain pass here. And it's beautiful up here. Wow. Nice and cool today, overcast. So cool. I enjoy this. You know, honestly, I can tell you it's really scary at first when you're a rookie. So there are times when you just want to give up and turn around, but then you just keep on moving. And you meet people across, along the way that will motivate you, encourage you, you know, in many in different ways, you know. It's amazing. Woo! Temperatures is much warmer than before though, so that's good. It's just a little bit colder up here. But um barely any cars here. I ha I practically have like this whole route to myself. So Okay, we're gonna take a little break more and then I'll, we'll move on. Very early today, so. Hi, good morning. Good morning. You guys are like, uh, yeah. oh, thank you, yeah. Exhausting carrying all this weight. <laughs> I'm amazed you can make it up the hill. That's a good steel frame. It is, yeah. And it's, first it was like, it's so thin, but it'd be able to hold all that weight, but it pretty much. Steel is much stronger. Yeah, and much a little bit more flexible than aluminum, <clears> so. Yeah, aluminum. <clears throat> steel is much cheaper. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> and for a touring bike. Oh, yeah, for touring, yeah, to carry all the weights. So. All right, well, I'm gonna. Uh, uh, I'm Jason, by the way. Uh, Jason, nice uh, to meet uh, you. Nice you. Richard. I'm Saudi. Saudi, nice yeah, to meet you. Nice and you you're. Richard. Richard, Jason. Yeah. yeah. Where are you from? I'm from Guam. Guam? Yeah, just uh, in the middle of the Pacific yeah, here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Where Saipan is, in the Micronesian yeah, Islands. Yeah. yeah, okay. Thank okay. you very much for the banana. I really appreciate it. Bye. <laughs> right, have a nice day. Bye. I'll, I'll see you around. Take care. Bye bye.
we're going up and up and up. Pretty soon we're going to touch the sky, the clouds. Okay, I guess it looks like it's all downhill from here, I hope. Okay, we had some rain. It stopped. I had two. I had two plates of curry vegetables. I needed all that after the climb. Woo! And a, and a, a medium-sized Pringle. Well, I guess it's all downhill. was an insane downhill man that was awesome all that climbing man that's, that was like about geez that's like about 13 13 miles of downhill and we're still going down man, oh man, 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 man. thank you road stops <sighs> okay we were at like 2500 almost 3000 elevation feet now we're down to 545. Holy shit, this place is like a ghost town. Where's everybody? Alright, we faced away. Okay guys, we're here at E1I. Welcoming with some strong winds and rain. I'm here in this bicycle parking shelter. Sorry, if you can't hear me, the wind. Uh, we're gonna go look for that bicycle shop just down the street here. I need a light. And most of all, I need one like this. See this? That thing will light up your light. Talk about spinning wheel to produce energy. You don't need to charge anything. You can probably even charge your devices with these 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 things. Come look at this. Look at this. That's what I need right there. That one right there. I'm gonna look for that. See if I can install it on my bike. That'd be awesome. You don't need batteries, you don't need anything. You can even charge your phone while you're riding. Especially touring because your your wheel is spinning a lot and it's producing a lot of energy. So you can charge yourself while you're on the run, on the go. And after that, we're gonna go head up to the campsite. We're here at Seiko Mart. I just bought a toothbrush, some batteries for my light, and uh, Coca Cola, a little cola. And look what this weather's brought again rain, more rain, there's just more rain. Sorry, the, vi the view is like blurry, wet because I got nothing dry in my body to wipe this thing. So we're here at the uh, Marine View campsite. It was a hell of a fucking climb, man. God, Hokkaido must love me running hills. And there's another climb going up, so, okay. Well, we got our pinch tent pinched up. There's a lot of bugs coming here. And uh, it's still raining, and it's gonna be like this all night. So I'm gonna situate myself, get a shower, come back, and then start cooking dinner. So I was able to find these gas tanks at the last campsite. There was the last one in stock. Actually, it was hiding in the behind the desk or somewhere over there, but it was on the shelf. But yeah, we're gonna make some coffee. Fuck, it's cold. I need something. Yeah, I think it's awesome, bro. Almost there. Ugh. Cold, rainy day. Wow, man, the wind is pretty strong. Like a storm going on or something? But it looks so, look at that. It looks so like a storm is brewing up or something. That's where I pitched up the tent. This is where they allow me to pitch a tent anywhere over here. Uh, so it's closer to, the, closer to the facilities. 
I got myself a nice hot warm shower and there's a restroom sink but the shower is only until 11 o'clock tonight and um, there's even a laundry and a dryer for like a couple hundred yen or so I can see blue skies blue skies but there's a storm coming up or something I don't know man Ooh, look at that she's holding up Ooh. I'm gonna get inside so I can provide weight inside and then, yeah, start my evening out. Man, oh man dude, I kid you not. This wind is this wind is worrying me. I packed up all my stuff in my pannier just in case. You know, I, I just hope this wind doesn't damage my tent because this is the only tent I have. See, I'm like, I'm, I'm just worried. I can't even eat dinner. I want to cook dinner, but it's like this wind is just out of nowhere. Just came and started blowing. Oh, it's like 9.15 p.m. and the wind is still blowing. Not as bad, but it's still blowing and it's not spraying. Oh, good morning. It's about 4.30 a.m. sun comes out around 4. And it's still raining. What a sleep. Oh, oh gosh. I didn't eat dinner. Okay, we're gonna leave the resort. So the bathing should stay, check in the hotel if it's available. And then right tomorrow just to get some rest. Uh, the weather's nice today, it's sunny. So I was like, man, I'll take advantage of this weather. Plan. <laughs> All right. Oh, life and I, ding dong. If I could take you up in boom, 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 boom